Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about uh, the coherency model and how do we make a HDFS cluster balanced and how do we work with uh, copying folder by folder all these things. So, what exactly is coherency model? Whenever we are talking about coherency model for a file system, uh, we are looking at uh, the data visibility of reads and writes. What exactly do we mean by this? Whenever we are working with HDFS, it has uh, some performance requirements uh, with POSIX, but still some operations will be behaved little bit different to the POSIX notations of Unix operating system. Once we have created a file, the file is visible in the file system namespace. However, uh, sometimes we have written the content and we have closed the file also. Because of some issues with HDFS, it will show the file is existing, but the content size is 0 bytes. So, we have typed, we have issued the close command, everything happened, it will also say the file is successfully created. But sometimes due to some issues and some trade-offs at HDFS, we might observe the file content is 0 bytes. And once more than a block's worth of data has been written, the first block will be visible, visible to new readers. This is true of subsequent blocks too. It is always the current block being written is not visible to the user. What does that mean? Whenever we are working with uh, a file, actually this is understood as when we are writing on to the file, no other person or no other client is allowed to read from the file which we are writing. So, the read and write operations onto a file cannot happen simultaneously. That is what we learnt. But in HDFS, because the file is being split into blocks, when I am writing on to third block, say for example, the first two blocks are available for simultaneously reading by other users. So, this is a bit difference we expect from the standard POSIX notations. POSIX is portable operating system interface, right? So, normally when the user is writing, simultaneous read operations are not allowed. But in HDFS, because the file is being split as I told, when we are writing on to one block, reading from already written blocks is possible. <coughs> and HDFS provides a way to force all buffers to be flushed to data nodes via hflush method on fs data output stream. So, what is happening? Uh, whenever you are trying to uh, close the file write command, whatever data that is there in the buffer, it is automatically flushed into data nodes via the system called hflush. And after a successful return from hflush, HDFS guarantees that whatever data we have written up to this point is available to the users for simultaneous reading option. And hflush does not guarantee that data nodes have written the data onto the disk and sometimes it might be left in the data nodes memory also. So, to avoid this, what we do is instead of uh, hflush, we might use hsync which makes sure the data is not left in the data nodes internal memory, but it is flushed on to the distributed system also. And both these hflush, hsync because they are system calls which the HDFS has to take care, there will be a performance overhead on HDFS. So, shall we use them or not? it depends on the application we are working with. Then parallel copying with distributed CP. Normally when we are working with Linux or Unix flavors, CP is the command for copying file from one file contents into another file. This DIST stands for distributed CP copying. So, this, this command will help me to copy uh, one file into another file not only that one folder completely into another folder with one single go. So, normally whenever we are working single file copying can happen via Hadoop. This is the URI we are using. FS stands for file system hyphen CP. This is the command for copying one file contents into another file. But if I want to copy straight away one 
folder into another folder, I can directly use this command. Similarly, the same can be used for copying one file contents into another file. If the second directory is not existing in this case, what it will do? It will create a new directory and all the contents of dir1 will be stored into dir2. What happens if the destination directory is already existing? In such case, this dir1 will be made as a subfolder in dir2. And say for example, I specified Hadoop distributed copying dir1, dir2, dir3, dir4. I have specified 4 for example. In such case, the last one will be taken as the destination folder and remaining all are taken as the source folders. So, in my example, dir4 will be the destination folder and the contents of dir1, 2 and 3 are copied into dir4. And HDFS file system shell, whenever we are working with this HDFS file system shell, uh, it includes various shell like commands which directly interact with the HDFS and uh, it also works with various other file systems like local FS, HTTPFS, S3FS and so on and the file system shell can be invoked by uh, under bin, Hadoop, FS whatever arguments we want, we can send. All file system shell commands will be taking the respective URI. Say for example, I want to talk about an HDFS file or directory such as, suppose I have a directory in HDFS, under root I have a folder called parent under which I have a folder called child. This can be specified as HDFS colon name node host just like we use local host, name node host slash parent or child or you can simply give it as hdfs colon slash parent or child because the default configuration is set to hdfs name node host and most of the commands in file system shell, they behave just like Unix commands and whatever error information is there that will be st sent to standard error stream and the output is sent on to standard output stream. So, errors are sent to std error just like Unix notations and output will be sent on to standard output. Thank you.